Okay, so uh, thank you for organizers to uh, giving me opportunity to talk here. So today I want to talk about uh, uh, operational rigidity. of complete intersection. So we today we work obviously complex number fields. And uh, and we mainly concern uh, complete intersection in projective space. So if you write this it means a uh, smooth complete intersection. defined by S hypersurface so S hypersurfaces of degree D1 to Ds so uh, I'm uh, interested in the rationality of uh, smooth hyper uh, smooth complete intersection. So we can divide. Uh, so first, we can divide the class of smooth complete intersection uh, into two. Uh, so x is final if uh, the sum of degree is at most n. Uh, and in this case. Uh, X is rationally connected. And otherwise, this is Calavio or uh, of general type. So uh, it has non trivial global n form, so in particular x is not union root and x is not union, not rational. So it is natural to uh, ask the rationality of the remaining case. we know so the trivial ones uh, so hyperplane and quadric uh, in PN and the bed surfaces are, are, are rational so uh, we want to consider uh, so other than this uh, this ones. So so first I want to uh, re review uh, the known results. So first we want to review the known result for hypersurface, and if it's equal one. Uh, And mainly, I, I want to review the non result for uh, of non non rationality of uh, smooth complete intersection of this range. So, for if X is uh, degree three hypersurface in P four, uh, this is always non rational. Uh, by the result of Clements and Griffiths by using the intermediate Jacobian. And so, and so recently, uh, uh, 
So total proof uh, that degree D hypersurface in PN and non-rational, so actually non-stable rational, if uh, this about 2 over 3 n and x is very general and the next theorem is uh, motivation of this talk so this is due to Iskowski Manning and Puklikov to Fone so it says that any degree n hypersurface in Pn uh, for n at least four is very super rigid So here, so Q from variety X is version super rigid. Or BSO. So if every rational map to another more fiber space is isomorphism. So this in particular implies X is non rational. And rational automorphism group is equal to by regular automorphism group. So, so how about S equal, S is at least two case. So here non-rationality of uh, is known uh, only for index one fan of variety. In that case, dimension of project space is equal to the sum of degree. And X is variation super rigid if dimension X is at least 12 and X is general. So this is by Puklikov. And so if we x is two four complete intersection in P six and if uh, there is no plane contained in X, then it is very super easy. So it's due to tilt so. And so two three complete intersection P five is non rational if uh, X is general. This is due to Iskowski. Kulikov and Bovier. By using different methods, and if so, an arbitrary 
two 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 complete intersection in P six is non rational. Uh, this is by Bobby. So this is what we know about the complete intersection, non alternative complete intersection, at least S at least two. So, so uh, today's main theorem is the following. So let ui to ds is a, a natural number, at least two. Then, and such that, uh, so it satisfies some numerical conditions. So then, any x, uh, of degree of complete uh, complete intersection defined by hypersurface of degree D1 to Ts in project space of dimension the sum of Di is version separation. So uh, I didn't say anything but uh, actually uh, we don't we don't have any uh, explicit example satisfying these first two uh, general conditions. So uh, this, this is stronger result, uh, this, uh, how to say. But this gives uh, version GDT for any x. Oh, okay, so I, I will I will give a uh, so example such find I mean such find this range this inequality. Yeah, it seems that it's usually right hand side is less than one usually. Um, so okay, okay, I I will give an example. So Ferrari. So any x two d in d plus two complete intersection x three d d plus three complete intersection four d d plus four and two two d so. So this two D two D case and three D and four D two two D case is version super rigid uh, for D at least uh, five fifty five eighty three okay this range so uh, and in the same way if we fix uh, S minus one degree and move. 1D uh, larger than F, then it satisfies this inequality. Uh, okay, so next I will talk about the uh, method proof. So that is so called the uh, Method of maximum singularities. Uh, and this is a general uh, uh, method to prove rational rigidity. So, and uh, I will explain just the outline of the method, this method. So, we use uh, three invariants here. So. So first one is a uh, Samuel Matplisty. So let X be uh, an algebraic scheme. And the P 
trivia point and Vivia Sabari. And then some multiplicity of x at close point p is defined by uh, some multiplicity of uh, maximum area p of x at this local, local ring. So this is by definition. Okay, so uh, so this one, and since uh, some of my please stay uh, not to satisfy the upper semi continuity, so. Uh, we define the multiplicity along severity B to be a minimum of some multiplicity. Oh, okay. 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 So the second one is a canonical threshold and log canonical threshold. So let X and B be a pair. So of so normal uh, variety uh, with Q factorial. I don't know uh, with Q county conical divisor and B be a closed subscheme. And then it's canonical threshold is a superimum of T such that a pair XTB is terminal. So in the same way we can define the low canonical threshold. This is a superimum of XTB. Uh, is okay. So we use these three inequalities. Uh, we use three inequalities between these uh, invariants. So. So, and the first one uh, is how I'm due to uh, Iskowski, Money and Koti. So, so let X be a Q funnel. And Assume there is a non trivial abortional map to another modified space, so which is not isomorphism. Then, so uh, we have some positive rational number mu and in system are uh, linear given to minus mu kx uh, such that conical threshold of the pair x and base locus of h is smaller than 1 over mu.
So the second one, uh, uh, the theorem due to Coty and the Pelne. I missed that up. So let us be a smooth surface. And B be a full self skin. So such that its support is a close close point of X. Then uh, we have lower bound of local and cross-threshold of pair XB given by uh, oh, okay so, so let, let me write this by Y and Z. So YP uh, I see. So this is some amplicity of uh, either IZ and local local ring OYP, and this is so if Z is locally complete intersection, this is nothing but uh, some amplicity of Z at P. So this is what. Uh, in this version of as proof. So, and the third one uh, is a proposition. So, which I prove. And let X be a smooth complete intersection. And B be a closed sub scheme. Okay, sorry. So, let's be a smooth complete intersection PN of codimension S. And this is a closed sub scheme of X of pure dimension. Ah, okay, we say pure, pure codimensional K in X. So, such that. Uh, its fundamental cycle is numerically bound to uh, the linear section plus uh, some article of near section of X for some M. So then uh, we have that intersection uh, some of the C of B at S is at most M where S is sub variety after sub variety of X uh, with dimension at least K S and okay and this proportion uh, was proved for when S is equal one, of Grigov, it's a hypersurface case, and Kolmenjo one case by Chesso. So I, I'm not so sure this proposition has uh, other uh, uh, applications, but uh, okay. So this is essential uh, when we want to. Uh, extend the result of the finite to complete intersection. So, the idea of the proof is following. So, the text is in theorem. And so, we have pure number one and minus kx equal uh, hyperplane section class. And assume 
x is not Bayer-Shank square, where is it? It's not right on super really. And we have these three inequalities. So first one uh, is a up, upper bound of conical threshold and the second one is lower bound of low conical threshold by root e minus one and three is upper bound of multiplicity e so we, we apply this for, uh, so, so, B to uh, for, for complete intersection, B, B, where B is complete intersection of uh, general element of this H, the system, and so, this is a some smooth sim, complete intersection uh, and of dimension two and z equal b intersect with y. So so I, I don't go into the detail but in, in the in this situation we we use these three inequalities. So and so by inversion by junction uh, we have inequality of low current cross threshold and current cross threshold. So, by combining those three inequalities, uh, we get contradiction. So, to the numerical condition. So this is just a idea. So and since this part uh, is uh, follow follow I follow the uh, method used by the Fellner. So uh, next, I want to focus on the proof of proportion disproportion. So, okay. So, okay. So I, I want, we want, I want to prove this upper bound uh, for us uh, satisfy this condition. But since uh, some of my PCT have a person continuity condition, so may I assume dimension S is KS and S contending B. So the point lemma is the key lemma, and so this is the k cycle alpha on x such that first uh, is intersect properly with B uh, on x, and also the number of cross point of intersection of alpha and s is at least degree alpha. So, uh,
that way. Watch where I Watch it right here. So, so I assume that I finished the proof. I want to finish the proof of this proposition. So, what we do is, is just compute an intersection number of uh, intersection product of alpha and b. So it is proper intersection. So by one. So it is a sum of uh, intersection multiplicity. And intersection multiplicity have general has lower bound by some of multiplicities. So by two, we have uh, desired inequality. So what we have to prove is this, this lemma. Okay, so proof of lemma. So XP in close point in PN plus one. Uh, so this is a project space, one dimension larger than original project space, and let x be a, x dash be a cone of x by p. So that is <coughs> So then this is in pn plus one, and this is the intersection of s hypersurfaces. So So each each one, I don't know x i dash and the view of each x i dash is d i. Okay. So so each i so okay so f let's take. A general point Q1 dash in Pn plus 1. Then each eye we have the following diagram. So, and CVSC Q1 dash this. So here is just the inclusion as a hypersurface. And this C is a cone of S over Q1 dash. And this is just an intersection. So it includes S, but you have a, a, a residual scheme here. So So since Q1 dash is general, uh, this is a, a hypersurface. Um, uh, since S is so, so sorry, since S is a cauti divisor of C, so I1 dash I is a 
also counter divisor of C. So we can take a intersection product so this is uh, dimension s minus s plus one cycle uh, in C and this is well defined as a cycle since Q dash is general, and we define R1 to be pushed forward by P, uh, pushed forward by pi P of this cycle. So where pi P is a linear projection. So this push forward is well defined since Q and dash is general. So okay. So by construction we have dimension of R Y is equal to dimension S minus small s minus one and degree is equal to by uh bezu di minus one a uh, product of di minus one and s degree s so and after we replace this by r1 uh we repeat this this process So, and we get Rj uh, satisfied uh, the following condition. If j equal k, we have uh, dimension of our k is dimension s minus k s minus one, and dimension of s is k s. Right now, so we have k cycle and degree of it equal to the. this product. So the claim is so so dimension of our J is oh sorry B is equal K S minus J S and number of close point containing intersection of RK and B is at least degree RK. So this number. So, <clears throat> so this means uh, dimension of cycle R decreased by S minus 1, but the dimension of degree R intersection with B is degrees 
by uh, else. So if j equal k, we have a proper intersection. So um, I use the following fact. So let x dash be a point in Pn plus 1 and Pq dash uh, to the uh, point x in x dash minus p and x dash x. Uh, so this is embedded. So tangent. So it, it's uh, so defined by this condition. So this is a set of closure or set of x. Uh, there is a point in x dash minus p, and where the is embedded tangent space of x dash at x containing q dash. So, and and this one, uh, you can see if q dash is uh, so. This one uh, defined by uh, s partial differential of uh, equation of hypersurface determining x. So, uh, if Q dash is general, this is uh, this uh, numerical equivalent to this class for if uh, okay in in X dash. So in fact, is that for each each j uh, intersection of our j and our j plus one dash. Sorry, I use the same notation. Uh, and is equal to our j p q j plus one, as I said. Proof of one that is as follows. So the major intersection of our J with B. Uh, so by uh, okay. So but by by the such theoretical argument, uh, so we we have uh, this equality and. So this is equal to PQ J dash so B by the fact. And so since this PQ dash is complete intersection and if Q dash is general, this intersection uh, with R J minus Y intersection B uh, is proper, so it the dimension decreases by s. So we get a proof of two and uh, one dash and two is as follows. So intersection bar k uh, of s uh, is intersection of uh, is containing intersection by all of j and and s. So and this is. Uh, uh, the section of p q j dash with s containing uh, all p q j dash and s and number of points containing this intersection is equal to uh, p i minus one okay Degrees. If a Q1 dash and QJ, QK dash is general, so we have the second uh, estimate, and we have done. We we prove the 
proposition. We, we can finish the proof of lemma and so finish the proof of proposition. So, so since we have we have time, so maybe 15 minutes left. So, uh, I'd like to talk about the singular intersection case, singular complete intersection case. Next. Uh, so just just do not just, uh, say something on single complete intersection, and so so definition. So let p in X is a germ of normal variety. And delta is so delta mu k. So is just a uh, 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 integers. So I find this inequality. Then this term is of type delta mu k. So if Dimension singular point, singular locus of X at P is at most delta, and so if Y is a general complete intersection through P of co-dimension delta plus K, uh, then. Uh, Mu minus one product of maximal ideal of Y at P is containing contained in the interval closure of Jacobian of Y. So this is somewhat technical condition. <coughs> so the theorem is the, the generation of uh, uh, the smooth case. So it d1 to ds at least two and delta is minus one and mu. Okay. So and this equality, these uh, numbers satisfy the following condition. So okay. We are seeing two delta plus mu. Plus two, this happens two di plus one. So then every complete intersection of index one uh, with only singularity of type. Delta mu 2s is a is Q funnel and version super rigid. So actually, it is factorial. And so, as a car, we have a uh, Following estimate for the X has an isolated singularity. So, in okay, so outer X uh, outer singular complete intersection such that. Okay, X has only uh, semi homogeneous, oh, okay, only isolated semi homogeneous uh, 
hypersurface singularities. So I'll explain this. And semi-homogeneous means so the tangent cone of x at p minus p is smooth. So it's non degenerate cone. And uh, hypersurface singularity means so tangent cone is hypersurface. So it's tangent, dimension of tangent space is equal to dimension x plus one. And uh, for all the singular point, so some m at pc of x at p uh, is at most uh, two ti plus one ti minus 5s plus minus 2 minus 2 so then x is q funnel so this okay this is, is q funnel and variation separation so okay. so I think I stop here Oh, yeah. yeah. So uh, you had this earlier lemma uh, uh -huh. where you were bounding from below the intersection points of alpha with s. Uh, uh huh. Below. Based, okay. You, you, right. Based on this intersection. Uh, based on the degree of alpha. Uh, yeah. Alpha. Alpha. Uh, so here, alpha is okay. So. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I, I was just wondering if you had an example that you could write down those. those uh, the explicit, uh, the concrete, concrete examples. Uh, yeah, just something to illustrate. Um, you know, how close the bound is to being sharp or what? Uh, actually, I, I don't have any example for S at least two. But S equal one case. Uh, uh, I think on one case, I, I, I have a sharp, sharp bound. So, X is quadratic in Pn and X is so it's dual. Oh no. Yeah, but but, but I, I don't have any example for for S only two. So sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, mm. Thank <laughs> you.